Hello, welcome to chapter 6. Bootstrap nested rows and columns brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the nested rows and columns in Bootstrap. Okay, now let us understand what do you mean by nested rows and columns and how it is related to Bootstrap. Keep in mind, nested rows and columns are supported in Bootstrap. It means now the rows and columns can be placed inside an existing column. Okay, to understand this sentence very clearly, now let us perform some of the task. Okay, the first task, first task here is, I want to create a layout which has three columns, and the columns should split in the ratio 3.5 is to 3.5 is to 5. Okay, in this sense, how do we create a layout? Bootstrap grid system provides 12 columns, and using those 12 columns, we are going to pr uh, build the layout, and that layout should be in the uh, ratio 3.5 is to 3.5 is to 5. Okay, in the sense we have to divide that 12 columns in this ratio. So how do I do that? And this can be done 3.5 call 3.5 is to 5 and this can be done with the help of nested rows only. Okay, how to do that? First let us let me jump to Visual Studio and here you, it's an empty web project and you can observe I've added bootstrap reference to this project. Okay, now our task is I want to create a layout which has three columns and the columns should split in this ratio okay now let me create three columns first okay how do I create three columns as per the rules um, the outermost view should have a class container okay and coming to the innermost view it I should have a row okay and now it's my job to create three columns in this layout how do I do that it's very simple do okay the criteria is the column should be split in this ratio 3.5 3.5 when we add these two we'll get the sum of 7 so 7 call 7 and call 5 totally when we add it the sum is 12 okay now it's uh, quite uh, occupying the complete bootstrap grid system 12 columns so let me divide first into two columns and uh, let me later divide that first column into sub parts that is 3.5 to 3.5 in the sense let me divide uh, first part to be of uh, call xs7 okay and the second one class call xs okay uh, 5 okay now the sum of these two is 12 okay now uh, my condition is little bit satisfying in the sense this part is satisfying call 5 so you can observe here I'm having call 5 and this call 7 I want to divide it in the ratio 3.5 is to 3.5 how do I do that it's very simple okay do and this column what we are doing in this call 7 is we are placing other columns inside it so um, class and that is called nested rows and columns call excess okay if I want to divide that 7 into 2 parts what I have to do is I want to take 6 columns each so 6 columns let me add a do and let me add a content in it naming as hang pro training okay now let me copy and paste okay you can observe here okay now this column 7 x call x is 7 will contain okay will contain 12 columns in it and if you want to divide that call 7 into two parts this is 3.5 3.5 then I want to divide the 12 columns in this call 7 into two parts in the sense six column each okay I have, I'm done with that uh, and coming to the last part let me add this due content to that also to the call x is 5 okay and my task is done now let me write some custom style to this uh, uh, call x7 and call x5 such that it looks good to write custom style I want to add a, a style sheet how do I do that I right click on my project okay right click sorry for that it opened some other thing okay let's wait for that it's now adding the style sheet let me code this let me close this no. right click on this add 
the style sheet okay let me rename the style sheet as demo okay style sheet ends with dot css okay now let me write the custom styles here okay what are the custom styles the custom style is something like I want a margin of 10 pixel and minimum height should be something 300 pixel background color should be of blue and since it is a background color uh, it's a dark background color let me assign the text color to be white okay margin okay minimum height text align let me make my text align to center and let me increase the font size okay font size should be of uh, 20 pixel okay now I've defined my custom styles let me add that cost custom style to the two columns derived here okay to this content class customize okay but let me drag and drop the style sheet what I've defined now let me add customize class similarly I want to add this customize class to the rest of the dues what I've created here like content due and let me add to this also now let me push this page to the browser and let us see the output as expected and what we done here right now is uh, inside the column we are placing other two columns here and that's what you can observe here this first column okay it's of two parts this is 3.5 and 3.5 the total is call 7 and this is call 5 the sum of these two things are 7 plus 5 is 12 but my intention is I want to divide this call 7 into two parts in the sense when I uh, make 7 into two parts that is 3.5 into 3.5 and how did I achieve it and that I achieved um, in this manner in the sense this call 7 I'm dividing into two columns okay okay keep in mind what that this call 7 is there right this call 7 internally it consists of 12 columns in it okay to understand that very clearly let me show you the sentence which explains that but uh, the fundamental principle remains same the number of columns in a nested row should add up to 12 in the sense this call 7 this column 7 inside that it will be having the 12 columns okay if I want to divide this call 7 into two parts then I want to divide the 12 columns present in that call 7 so uh, the half of 12 is 6 and 6 so I'm taking these two columns 6 each okay I hope you understood this and this is what the first task what which was assigned to us okay and now let us complete the second task the second task is something like create a layout which has two columns first column should span three columns and the second column should span nine columns okay in the sense 10 plus 3 is 12 in the sense I want to create a layout which will be divided into two parts in the sense the first part will be having three columns and the second part will be having nine columns it's very simple now let us let me go and do that uh, what I have to do is I want to remove all these things present here okay even this also oh, sorry that should be there okay I'm having a row and what I'm to do is I want to do I want to add two columns the first part should be of three columns and the second part should be of nine columns how do I do that div class call extra small should be of three and let me add a due content to this okay and class customize and this is hang pro ng hang pro training okay fine I am done with this let me copy this and let me again paste okay I am left with 9 columns out of uh, 12 okay and this is what the output what we are expecting right now in the sense I want to divide a layout into two pieces such that first part will be consisting of three columns and the second part will be consisting of nine columns now let me rush to my browser and let me refresh this page 
and this is how it looks okay and this is what our task is create a layout which which has two columns okay it is having two columns keep in mind and the next criteria is the first column should span three columns okay this first column is having three columns in it and coming back okay the second column should span nine columns obviously the second column is of nine columns okay let me jump back to my task let me understand you all very carefully this part okay in the first column we want two rows okay uh, that's what that's what the nested rows and columns is what i'm what what is the task they have assigned here is in the first column we want two rows in the sense okay this column okay should be split into two rows okay how to do that okay and that can be done using the nested rows and columns which bootstrap supports so in order to do that let me come to my okay um visual studio code visual studio sorry and I want to divide this call xs3 into two rows. How do I do that? First, let me add two rows. In the sense, I'm having two rows. Okay, and let me add class is equal to row, and this also class is equal to row. Okay this is what our requirement is in the sense i want to divide this first column which is having first part which is having three columns in it into two rows okay i have i've done that okay this column call x3 is having two rows right now first one and the second one now let me add uh, okay to this row keep in mind this row will be having 12 columns in it so i want to acquire completely completely how do i do that div class is equal to call x as complete column I want to apply the complete column so I'm calling call x as 12 okay let me copy this entire thing and let me paste it here now I'm done with this now let me add this um, div okay and let me add ang pro training the content to it let me copy and paste okay now uh, let me remove this okay let me add the class customize here what I'm doing is let me call the class the custom class what I wrote custom CSS class okay and to this also class customize okay now to this do it has to acquire this two rows right I want to increase the minimum height of this so let me write another do class another custom CSS and let me name it as demo cust okay this is my class name CSS class name now I want to increase the height of this let me increase it to 610 pixel okay now what I'll do is I'll add this custom class to the last class defined here okay class demo cast okay now let me go and refresh this page let me see how it looks okay can observe here this is what the output we wanted and that's what we achieved here the second task is something like create a layout which has two columns okay and the first column should span three columns and the second column should have nine columns and that's what we achieved earlier okay and the second condition was something like this the condition was okay in the first row we want two rows okay and that's what we have achieved here and this is my first column in the first column I'm having two rows this is first row and this is second row and how would I achieve that that, and that can be achieved only using the concept of nested rows and columns which bootstrap supports okay and that's what we learned in this session like how to work with the nested rows and columns okay and keep in mind this fundamental principle is very important okay the number of columns in the nested row should add up to 12 okay and this is the fundamental principle everyone should uh, should be remaining sorry remember okay in order to understand what is this nested rows and columns got it and that's for the day and we completed the task too i hope you understand what is nested rows and columns and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training
and also you can like our pages visiting this URL and we are also on Twitter you can follow us and for further references you can you can visit our websites and we are on, also on LinkedIn too okay and last but not the least don't forget to give the feedback thank you